Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm so excited to show you this gorgeous four bedroom house behind me. So this property is called The Barrington and it's by Blur Homes. We are located in Solly Hall, West Midlands, UK. The, the property also comes with its own garage as well as you can see behind me and a few other uh, kind of little quirks and amenities. If that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. All right. Hello, welcome home and come inside. Let's go. Let's get all warm and cozy. Right, so we're inside. Let's get straight into the tour. Coir matting, as I love, and I'm glad to see that it's been extended quite quite a lot into the room. <laughs> I always point out the coir matting, but guys, there was a time where this was an upgrade. You didn't get this. You had to basically, obviously, buy your own mat. It's nice to have this as a standard thing now for these new build properties. Okay, so now you're in your house, right? What are you noticing? You've got your staircase right in front of you. Now you've got a generous hallway here. Um, the front door itself is your typical kind of composite front door. It's got the viewfinder, which I like, a, a peephole there. And then you've got frosted panes of glass in there. It's not too much, so there's still privacy because I know a lot of people find the overly placed doors as being too open for them. So this is a nice balance between that. You've got a mystery door here, which I'm gonna take a sneak peek at. So here is kind of like your initial close door area. It's a very small cupboard. It contains all your services, but it's a really good pos uh, location to have those things in. It's where your fiber optic and your BT lines go. Right, so anyway, going back to this entryway hallway situation, we've got these plants on the floor. I do see grout lines, so they look as though they might not be luxury vinyl tile. They might actually be ceramics. So flooring and finishes tend to be upgrades. So anything like this, just bear in mind, this may not be your standard spec. But it's good to know that in this development, this is an option you can get. So let's go on this room on my, on my right, your on your right, my left. So this is a, a kind of an, a snug room. I'm going to call these smaller rooms snugs. Could potentially be a, a dining room, depending on how many people you want to sit, to seat. So this is your snug office, um, spare bedroom, study, whatever you want to make of it. A compact size room with enough space for a desk, a table, a chair, a small bed. And then if I just close the door, you're going to see that it's got an aspect face in the front of the property. And then you can see these large windows. I always love seeing large windows um, flooding the space with lots of light. So that's this room. Let's go back into the hallway and straight to the first room. So if you bring in guests, this is where they would come straight into the heart of the home. And immediately you see what you're working with here. You've got your open plan, living dining kitchen space. Now, I know there's a very interesting flow to this property. So as much as we want to go into the rest of the house, let's follow the tour through how you would if you were visiting. So you come into this space, this living area. Again, they've continued the flooring into here. Continuing the flooring makes the space feel so much bigger, so much brighter, it adds less visual clutter. So it's definitely triple takes. You've got the window face in the front of the property, a large three pane window as well, trickle vents as well, and it's so quiet in here. So I reckon the specification of the windows is quite a good specification. You've got like two meters worth of defensible space in front of your property. Defensible space, you hear it here first on property vlogs. Essentially, it's the space you have between your property and the public realm. So that means that, you know, some properties you're just off the main road, there's less defensible space. This one, you've got a substantial amount, but for some people, two meters would be too small. So that's completely up to you what you feel about that. But yeah, basically you've got about two meters worth of defensible space. And then coming back, should we go into the rest of the, yeah, let's just go this way. Okay, so I was holding this for later, but let's talk about this next space. Your living snug area flows nicely into your dining area. This is a six, six seater at the moment, but definitely you can upsize it or even rotate it. It's nice to see that the proportion of the table works really well with the space. You've got a door there, a frosted door, bringing in lots and lots of natural light. So essentially these doors act like windows. They flood the space with more natural light. And then also you can bring in groceries or supplies straight from here into the kitchen 
Or on bin day, you can take your rubbish out to the front that way. It's very convenient. Coming into this kitchen space, right, um, I love this layout. I think this is one of my favourite layouts by Blur Homes because of the kitchen island and the relationship of the kitchen to the island, the sink to the island, to the hob, to the rest of the kitchen. Let's talk about the details, shall we? So the first cupboard that we're going to see is not your fridge freezer. It's your boiler, but again, it's nice to keep people guessing because it means it's well integrated. So you're not gonna instantly look and think that's where your boiler is. You've got storage underneath. Everything is very minimal and standard white carcass. You've got your brush chrome handles as well. You see overhead brush chrome here. And then we've got also your beautiful concrete effect um, worktop here. Um, it's laminate and it's square edge. It's a square edge profile as well. Again, back in back in the day, as in like maybe 10, 20 years ago, you'd have had curved profiles. Now we're doing kind of square edge. That's very nice and on trend. You've got your sink. It's by Karen Phoenix. It's a beautiful black kind of carbon black sink, one and a half ball with a beautiful uh, chrome tap and then a little ledge there for your strainer. And then you've got more worktop space here and a socket. I love that. I love the dual tone aspect of it. You've got the worktop and then you've also got the white cabinets. Horizontal handle, so that's gonna be our dishwasher. Let's take a look. It's by Bosch, fantastic brand, and it's all integrated. You've got your cabinetry there as well, so you can see it. It's going to be on a soft closer as well. Lovely. So are the doors. And then more storage, as you can see there. Lovely. So I know we do get quite a few requests for me to open the doors. So if you are somebody who's wondering, why is she always opening the doors? That there's somebody in the comments that say they want to see everything inside and we're doing it just for you. So there's a hob here, electric hob by Bosch. It's not gas. So up to you decide if that's negative. Some people love cooking with gas. Bosch there, the worktop continues there. You've got this beautiful extract fan also by Bosch. It is a feature. It's dropping down from the ceiling. It's a focal point. And then we've got the other side of the kitchen. Now, okay, before I finish the other side of the kitchen, let's just take a peek at this thing that's looking at us. This is your rear garden. Through these double doors, you have the beautiful garden it's a nice proportion on this plot um we won't be able to go into here because the doors are locked but just remember it depends on the plot you go for but that's just a taste of what you can get from here you can basically deduce that you're going to get paving slabs and a lawn you won't get the gazebo you won't get the painted uh, fence and you won't get the plants so bear in mind guys when you look at show homes you really have to strip them down you get a garage as well which we're looking at so you can kind of peek at the garage remember guys sometimes access uh, restricts us from going through all the spaces but we do our best to show you as much as possible so you can feel like you're coming with a talk with us but so on the other side of the kitchen more storage so is someone going to tell me there's not enough storage for this kitchen i don't think so there is so much storage it really fits the size of the hub you've got your bank of switches there and your uh, sockets there as well and integrated wash appliances you've got your oven and probably your microwave oven and then more storage trust me the storage and then your fridge freezer so here's your fridge freezer in your 60 40 70 30 arrangement by bosch lovely and it's integrated and that completes the kitchen space so let's move on to the next room so through a door we are now in the heart of the home of your formal lounge like your second heart of your home actually this formal lounge if i just walk all the way to the back of here i can show you the proportions of it you can see that it's nicely sized you have your sofa there your three-piece uh sofa there as well and then an armchair another set of double french doors lead you to the garden that we saw earlier and then it's been beautifully staged with these curtains that go all the way to the ceiling i do think the ceiling height in here is very nice as in it doesn't it's probably your standard ceiling height or just just slightly over over 2.4 meters i love the furniture arrangement you've got option of which wall to put artwork on you've got an artwork um a large statement wall there or you can make this your focal point where the tv is over the dresser and yes i think in terms of size wise this room is pretty nice um coming through you're going to notice now we are back in the hallway guys this house has like a circular 
uh, flow to it. And before I continue, you've got an understair uh, cupboard there as well, additional storage. And then again, if we come into this corridor, I'm going to show you a few pieces. Not only do we have the additional understair cupboard, we also have this little nook which they've put as like a laundry nook. Very nice to kind of close that away and have the washer and dryer kind of humming away in the background. You've got Bosch appliances there. They're not integrated, but it's nice to have that included. And then you've got your same worktop that we saw in the kitchen before. And then we've got uh, storage here as well. It's completely up to you what you do at this space. Um, if it was me, I might even put a sink in here. I know that sounds a bit extra, but it really does depend how you want to use the space. So the double doors close that away. And then this door is a downstairs toilet. So this is your downstairs toilet. Again, same flooring. You've got half height um, tiling all the way throughout. Kind of has that continuity. You've got a large mirror there on the wall, which is probably an extra. Mirrors and decor are not standard fittings. You've got a two-piece uh, seat here by Rocker, white goods by Rocker, your toilet and your um, your sink. And then they've done a little kind of cute little display shelf in the back, which is fantastic. Coming back out of here, let's just take a peek about what I said about the flow. So come with me and let's show you the flow. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, well... We'll go back. So you get what I mean. There's just a dynamic flow. It's really good to kind of keep everyone feeling connected in the house and the house really kind of connects all the rooms nicely. So that's the ground floor. So let's do the first floor. Staircase is a nice width. It's not narrow and it's not too steep. There are a couple of extra steps, I think, and I think that leans back to what I said about the ground floor being uh, taller than your usual uh, floor to ceiling height as well. So now we're on the first floor, let's go to the bedrooms. So the first one I'm going to go to is this one. It is a king size bedroom. So guys, I don't like to say single or double. I go by the size of the furniture you can fit in the bedroom because this bedroom right now, even though it does have what I believe to be a king size bed, um, and it would be referred to as a double size bedroom. You can obviously fit this king size bed in it with bedside tables either side. I like what they've done with the headboard artwork on there. That's a nice feature. The bedroom actually goes in a little bit on this side, which means that you can have wardrobes there. And then it has two windows facing the front of the property. Oops. Two windows facing the back of the property and another little nook here. So this is another option in terms of wardrobes or dresser, or even a kind of a homework area in the way they kind of staged it. Lucky kid, he's got a, <laughs> a Mac there in the corner. <laughs> so yeah, let's go to the rest of the house. You've got this mystery door here, which kind of opens towards your direction. So let's squeeze, squeeze around. It's a nice little linen store, nice addition for the first floor. I love that storage is being considered. And then we've got this bedroom here, Again, I would say this is probably a double room. with double bed there, of course, with two bedside tables. You've got a window facing the back of the property. And then you're overlooking your garden and your garage there as well. And I love the staging of this room. It gives you a bit of context. You can see here there's a window facing the side. So again, this house is, well, this bedroom is a dual aspect room. And then here would be where your wardrobe would be or dressing table that we've done. So I like this, a little bit of a cheeky splayed wall there. And then let's come to this room. So this room is your primary bedroom. Wow, okay, I was not expecting to see it so soon, but there you have your generous king size bed. Again, this is definitely a super size bedroom. So you can definitely go wider, much, much wider. Bedside tables there and your large three pane window facing the back garden overlooking that. You've got a little dressing nook over here. And then behind you, slash in front of me, is where your wardrobe would be. And um, it's quite a generous size wardrobe spread with the floor to ceiling doors, sliding doors. And then here we've got a ensuite, which I don't know if you notice this, Brian, 
this ensuite is missing a door. It will definitely have a door <laughs> in this area. But you've got your ensuite here. It's got a window with frosted pane, brings in lots of natural light and ventilation. And then you've got a mirror, which again, like I said, is not a standard finish. But in terms of standard finishes, you probably have full tiling to the shower enclosure, as you can see. And then the rest of the tiling probably would have to be negotiated. Um, in terms of what I can see here, I see a beautiful shower. It's a fantastic system. I'm trying to read. Okay, the shower's by Hands Grower and it has a rain head feature to it as well. The tray is very wide. You've got your white goods by Rocker as well, toilet and sink. And it's not a hidden system for once. And then you've got your half height tile, like I mentioned, and then this beautiful chrome edging strip, and then your beautiful chrome towel rail, which is actually warm. Nice. Okay. So that is the primary bedroom. Let's go to the rest of the house. Now, primary bedroom, next room is your family bath. You've got a four-piece suite, which I love. I love this. You've got a shower, and it's not a bad size, you know, it's quite generous. It's almost like a, uh, it's about a metre, but, uh, well, it's, it's less than a metre, but it's like 90 centimetres by 90 centimetres. And then you've got your bathtub here, again, a nicely sized bathtub. And then you've got a shower, a um, handheld shower. I've heard those are good for pets, actually, um, if you've got any pets that you like to get baths. And then you've got your window again, bringing in natural light and ventilation. You've got your toilet and your sink, and then a heated towel rail behind the door. So that's that. And then the final bedroom, aka the fourth bedroom, is this one. I love the vibe of this one, very, very modern. Um, you've got your king size bed, so it's a king size bedroom, two end tables again, your wardrobe, where would that go? It would go here, and there is sufficient space to have your wardrobe. But again, if you like watching TV, you'd have to decide between whether you're going to have an angled one on that wall, whether you're going to have not a wardrobe, but a dresser with a TV on top. And then you've got your window facing the front of the property. So I think... If you just look over, that is the front of your property. And I think that's pretty much the final room in the house. Guys, so that concludes the tour. If you liked what you saw, most importantly, like it. Leave us a comment about something that you found interesting and subscribe so that we see you in the next video. All right, bye.